G'day guys, it's Tia, back with another Fallout 76 guide. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to get infinite rare resources and infinite uh, rare plans for you to unlock more like mods on your armor or weapons or just plans for crafting weapons and armor in general. So what this is, is a infinite deathclaw farm and in it we're going to be fully taking advantage of the server hopping. So if you don't know what server hopping is, basically you complete your task that you, uh, that you set out to do then you leave the server, leave the game, then rejoin a new server, new game. That task that you wanted to do will basically be not completed, but you keep the stuff from last time. So it's just like over and over and over, you can milk the same task. In this case, it is killing a death claw. As you just saw, I got some loose gears, uh, black titanium, I got plans for a weapon, I got some rare weapons and rare armor, and you can just milk this thing as long as you want. It takes about about three minutes at maximum to kill it, server hop, then kill it again, server hop, kill it again. You can just milk it as long as you want. And yeah, it's also a pretty good XP farm. As you saw, I got like 200 XP from killing that death claw. I have gotten a, um, a couple higher level death claws, level 95s. Uh, and I have also gotten uh, two star legendary death claws. No three stars yet, but I'm sure they will be there. It's just a little bit more rare. Uh, that is where I got my Vampire's uh, 50 cal M machine gun that I'm holding right now in the video. So yeah, it's a great guide for you for all sorts of things, but mostly for those rare materials and those rare plans. Right there it is at the Thunder Mountain uh, substation near Watoga. Here's where it is on the map in location to Vault 76. So yeah, basically that is it guys. Uh, it's just milking it over and over. In the video, I'll just show different clips of myself killing the death claw uh, for you guys to, you know, get the hang of it. In in between each jump cut of the video, I just left the game and then rejoined a new server. It's that simple, guys. Also, as you saw before, you can have your camp like just outside the gate there, so it's easy for you. You can build turrets. You can just go AFK because the death claw does spawn, respawn uh, every ten minutes if you don't feel like server hopping. So you can just set up a camp chill there, go do something else, you know, easy. Um, also guys, you can set the camp up actually in the substation, which is a bit OP I think. You can just build scaffolding up into the air. But yeah, it's up to you guys what you want to do. I'm just presenting this information, this uh, good little death call farm. Um, if you like the guide, be sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe. I've got plenty more guides coming in the future. Um, I'm really enjoying Fallout 76 at the moment and I hope you guys are too. So yeah, guys, as you just saw, I killed another death claw. I got steam packs, I got lots of ammo, got flame, I got some meat hooks, got plans for a weapon, I uh, got some right away. It's a great farm for all sorts of things that you'll need in your game, just everyday survival in the game. Uh, it's also a great experience farm. Uh, and if you're having trouble fighting this death claw, if you're lower level, and you shouldn't be lower level if you're coming to a toga, but if you are and you're following this guide, you're trying to level up quicker without a glitch or you're trying to get better gear, trying to fast the game, then just hide in this little shack that I'm in right now. The death claw cannot come attack you unless you stand in the doorway. Or if you're feeling a bit out there, go just run around the gate. You can circle it and the death claw, the Zai just completely glitches out. Does not know which way to go. Uh, I think I demonstrate that in the video right now. But yeah, it's pretty easy. You just need to be able to kill the Deathclaw, get the we uh, have a weapon to be able to kill the Deathclaw and then you are able to farm this Deathclaw as long as you want. I did this for a while. I was able to get a lot of heavy weapons for my, because I'm a heavy weapons build. I was able to get a lot of good things for my build. So yeah guys, that's uh, pretty much going to do it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stick around for uh, more guides coming in the future. That's going to do it for me. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.